Hello and welcome to my workshop. This is the Almond Bank Workshop tour around just to show what there is and why it's here. Now the router station consists of the UJK cast iron top, the UJK router lift system and inside a standard DeWalt plunge router. In the station itself I've got various compartments opening here to get the dust extraction and such, drawers here to house all the bits and bats I need with the router, spare routers and all other accessories for the router, again tools for the router. The router bits, if you've seen a recent video I did on this, the router bit draw. So everything is there. Also, this one here, all feather boards and such things. Above the station, I have the rip pens directly above, so everything is there. This is standard rip pens that I use when working with the router from this side. The dust extraction comes from the above, like with the saw table. The other dust extractor is on a remote lever down here, which opens and closes. The power switch is there, everything is to my convenience. I have protective packs and everything above me head. The rear fence again is UJK, this one. I then made another one, which is a monstrous beast, which is this one. Now this one I made purely so I can use the router from either side. I came across a job where I needed to run things through the size of a standard house door. This does it. And it works like the other one does. It goes straight on to my system like so. So I've got the router there. Or I've got it there, jaws on both sides so I can move them, dust extraction from the top. And it looks like that, which is good and solid. Now the router station itself when set up, I've got there around 700, so I can do crossing that way without too much problem. This way, 3 metres, I get the big pieces I can get through there. I don't have any problem, I've never had any problem with that side. If I'm going to go out that way, um, I'll slide the door open if it's going to be too big. You just shove one of these down on the floor over there and it'll run over to it. Extra support. When you're in a small workshop, you've got to find ways around a lot of problems. And that's it, that is the router. And as we move around to the centre island to the final place, the place I spend most of the time I would say, the vice area. Now on this end all I have is the vice bench dogs. I don't have anything else. At the side here is where I store. The top is for the drilling. All my drill bits of all types are in here ready. And more storage at the bottom but more drilling bits I can't get into there. And that is the storage under here again bits for rounders, bits for drill bits. Keeping things in a logical place. It's a router station, keep things here for router. Drilling station, keep things here for drilling. Not for the bits over there, for the bits over there. Store them all there. Just keep things logical and you find stuff easier. And it's pretty a put stuff away. Right, so that is the central island. Now, moving on. The next main place of the workshop is of course the chop station. This is six metres long and the chop station is in the centre of that. I've got calibrations all the way down so I can repeat cut at any size and at any size. It's got the maximum depth and everything you need so I've got plenty of space in which to do everything. And behind the rip pens I have a 
I've drunk storage place. If I'm working on something, I can put it out of the way so I've still always got this clear space. This, as you've seen, lifts out, removes, and I put a plate plate in its way. And because I've got the vice inset here, um, I can do my engineering work. I've got two vices that fit into this. I've also got my sharpening, blade sharpening jig, which fits into this. It's just a good system to be able to keep the benches clear. Now underneath them, I have all the storage areas. Uh, some store tools. Sandpapers. Every single time. And storage. Basically the rest is storage. All the screws, all the um, nails, all the batteries, every, nuts and bolts, and everything is in this place. That's it. Then down here I have all hand tools, marking gauges, hand tools, hand tools, marking gauges, the rest, hand tools, hand tools, storage, loads and loads of storage for lots of things. Wall cupboards, storage for tools. As you see, this one. All my screwdrivers, all my chisels, hammers, planes, odds and sods, here, marking tools, just conveniently out of the way, but easy to get to. Power tools, there's all my power tools there now, all my hand saws, sanders, heat guns, and all such things. Saws, hand saws, actual physical work. And as you can see, I have quite a collection of hand saws. And they're all nicely, always just there, ready, I need them. Japanese saws, all there. And that's the storage on the Chevy. That's just the convenience of having everything out the way. It takes a deep bench, but it's got a lot of storage. We're going to this end the same, this time as materials, storage for materials, but also I've got all this sharpening stuff here. These are my sharpening boards. Everything sharpening is in there. And up there again, just storage again. Loads, storage, 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 lots of it. So basically, this is as much storage as anything else. Uh, so this is all storage area. But primarily marked out, laid out and set up for this. This governed this setup. So, a much needed piece of equipment. It serves a great purpose for doing many jobs. But they can be a bit big, they can be a bit in the way all the time. I put this on a trolley so I can manoeuvre it around. I can even move it out the door if I want. But I can manoeuvre it around to get the timbers in I need to get in. But I set it on an angle here and this seems to work the best for me in most jobs. I have my jigs like my circle cutting jig, my little um, sledges, Another little sledge, all sitting here, waiting to use. Dust extraction is on a blast here. There, I have lights above, I have lights here, so always plenty of viewing. It's a good tool. Clamps, now, we all need a lot of clamps. This I put onto a trolley many, many years ago, when I had space to move around. It's um, so that you can take it to the place you're going to work and all the clamps are right there at your convenience. But it's very hard to get around. It's far too big now. But it does store more than I could imagine storing if I made it on the wall. Because I can turn it around and have it in another place. All this side is covered in them. That side's covered in them. Underneath, on top. So it houses a lot. So it, I couldn't improve on the design, even if I took the wheels off and said stay there. But with the wheels on, it helps when I'm cleaning up. I can pull it out of the way. I can get in there, I can do stuff, I can pull it back. 
So the wheel stay and the youth up there. But the, each, the original principle of having it to roll to the place I'm going to work, deleted. It's too inconvenient. It's far easier to just come and get the clamps in a bunch and take them and then bring them back and put them back on me. Now then, pillar drill. I have done a video on the pillar drill. It, it's, 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 I'll, I'll stick you the link that I've done on this. Um, I made the top myself. I don't need to adjust these sort of things because it's a radial arm. It moves itself and it tilts itself. So you don't need all that on here. You've got it on here. Much more convenient. I can swing it out and I can go beyond and down to the floor if I need to. Um, it's actually in Cezanne. It's got a good rate of speed. I'm not going to go into all the details. As I said, I've done a video on it. Um, so if you want to know more specifics on it, have a look in there. It's set here because I get the most size that I can get in here. I can open the door and get whacking great big timbers in. Using my props, very easy. Height-wise, no problem. Um, but as you imagine, in a confined workshop, everything's got to be placed where it can be the most beneficial without being in the way. Such a thing, you can't move. You can't be on wheels. Um, it just falls over all the time. So it has to be mounted in a place that's going to be the best. And I'll put it right, back to, right next to the sink. Unfortunately, I've got to make sure it doesn't get rusty. So I'm constantly treating it. I'm winning so far, but I've got to be constantly aware it gets splashed because it's next to the sink and the sink is desperately needed as well for cleaning glue, brushes and many other things. 